What's up guys, welcome back to my Modelcast and welcome back to another video. And today we are doing another comparison, this time between the um, GT Spirit versus Norev 118 Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. So, um, well, first of all, I want to mention that in the video, these two uh, cars almost look like they are pink, but um, trust me, in real life, these are definitely orange. <laughs> um, it's just the combination of the lighting and the colors that it may uh, that the colors may actually come up a lot lighter than they are in real life. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Get out out of the way first. Um, so yeah, I mean these two models. Um, it's quite an interesting comparison actually. Um, the Norav on the right here. This is a fully opening diecast model and uh, the GT Spirit on the left is actually a closed resin model. So for the sake of this comparison I will not be opening up the Norav as the GT Spirit is closed. Um, I only will be opening up the doors to take a better look at the interior of course. Um, but I will not be opening up the engine cover or the uh, trunk for, this, for the sake of this comparison. Um, the Norav on the right is actually a official Mercedes-Benz dealer edition. So um, you should be able to get this at official Mercedes-Benz dealers. Um, I actually got mine online at CK Model Cars for um, yeah, official retail price is I believe 120 euro for this. The GT Spirit on the left, um, this one is not a dealer edition. Um, it's just a regular GT Spirit model um, and yeah. Obviously, regular retail price for GT Spirit is 100 euro. So this is 20 euro cheaper than this one. So yeah, let's just start the comparison. Um, well, first of all, the colors between these two, the Norav is actually slightly darker, a uh, shade of orange, than the GT Spirit. Um, in my opinion, the Norav color actually looks a bit better. Um, it's hard to see it on video, but the orange on this one is very nice um, compared to Jeet Spear. Jeet Spear is a bit lighter, looks a bit more dull compared to the Norav. Um, but yeah, you if you um, if you check out my Instagram link down below, you can actually um, see much better pictures of these two models and the differences in color and uh, yeah, all the details as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, go ahead. Um, it's a bit hard to capture on video the color difference. Um, so yeah, but still the GT Spirit does look very nice in this color. Um, so moving on, the all the black parts on the Norav here is actually um, for the most part textured carbon. So yeah, you might be able to hear that it is actually textured plastic to look like carbon fiber. Um, we've got that all over the front splitter, the hood here, the roof, side skirts. Um, Whereas the uh, GT Spirit here on the right is actually all the black parts is just gloss black. There's no exposed carbon at all. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind that the Norav does have textured plastic. Um, but we will take a look at all this in detail now. So let's just start from the front. So let's take a quick look at the details of these two models and the differences. So if we're starting on the front here, let's just start on that big grille. Um, yeah, it, it does look very plasticky on the Norav here. Um, nothing really goes all the way through. You do have these slats um, with a bit of depth behind it, but it's right there, it's blocked off with plastic. Um, so it doesn't really look all that nice. Also the Mercedes star in the middle, there's just plastic behind, closed plastic, it doesn't go through. Uh, like a grill or something um, Whereas on the GT Spirit you can actually see we have real mesh behind the slats And you can also see that the badge here does actually go uh, Well, it's not blocked off behind the badge. You can actually see the, the mesh um, continuing uh, behind the uh, Mercedes star there, which does look really good So let me actually just turn on my flash. You can see it a bit better so here's the north and you can see there how it is really plasticky there's not really any detail also the lower smaller openings there is just plastic 
um we do have of course the amg badge right there but yeah as i said also the mercedes star blocked off right behind whereas the gt spirit as you can see here looks 10 times better in my opinion you actually have real mesh um and behind that of course plastic but still real mesh also in the lower parts here the mercedes star does look very nice as well also i've got the amg badge of course yeah, it just does look a lot better on the GT Spirit, in my opinion. So, continuing on the NOR FA, we can actually see on top there, we've got the smaller Mercedes badge on the bumper there. Whereas on the GT Spirit, we actually do not. And this is when NOR have actually made a small mistake, because I looked up the official press pictures of the GT Black series, and it did not come with the smaller mercedes badge on top like you have on most other mercedes cars um so yeah that's actually something that north made a little mistake where i see the spirit actually noticed that and did not put it on the car um so yeah that's a small mistake um well you could argue that you know north did, did a bit more effort there to and make that um but yeah it doesn't really reflect the real car in my opinion Moving on, um, we actually have the front split here. So as I said, this is finished in expo sorry, in um, textured carbon. So this is textured plastic to look like carbon fiber, as you can see there. Nor of course is all gloss black, no textured carbon or anything like that. However, maybe if you look from the top, um, the GT Black series actually has yeah, a splitter like this, and then there is a manual extended splitter which you have to pull uh, from underneath from underneath the car you have to pull it forward and then the splitter will be extended a bit further um, and that's actually where gt spirit um, integrated it into the model so you can actually see that the splitter you have a small extended bit in the front here which sticks out from the um, standard splitter and here you can see it's all uh, yeah, flush with the splitter, so the it's not extended in the extended position here. So that's something I like on the GT Spirit. A little bit of extra detail there that Norf did not um, integrate into the model. Um, looking at the license plates, here we have just the um, AMG badge, of course, um, which I think is a bit sticker um, here as well. It's actually a separate piece on the plane here. It's actually a separate piece onto the model. However, mine is a bit loose and it's a bit, uh, yeah, not really very straight. Um, here it's actually not a separate piece and it's just a sticker right onto the model. So that's also a bit more detail you get on the GT Spirit right there. Um, moving on. Uh, also the front canards here are just gloss black. On North, it's gloss black as well. Well, maybe not the gloss, a bit of a matte plastic finish, but, but still, there's no exposed carbon either of the uh, models there. Taking a look at the headlights next. So, the Norf on the right there. Um, yeah, it does look decent, in my opinion. It doesn't look bad. Um, you can see the DRL strip and the um, main bulb. Taking a look at the Jeet Spirit, it does look a lot better. You can see the DRL, it's a lot more crisp. Also, the main bulb has a lot more details in itself. You can see all the individual parts there. It looks really good. Yeah, it's just a bit more detailed on the GT Spirit, which is very nice to see. So, let's move on to the bonnet then. So, on the Norav, of course, we have exposed uh, carbon which is again textured plastic you can see the hood grills there it's just closed plastic taking a look at the jeet spear we have gloss black and we actually have real mesh here so that does look a lot better than the norav real mesh versus closed plastic you also got the smaller um, opening here which is actually painted on the norav as you can see there from up close you can really see that and then yeah it's not really 
looking very nice however on the GT Spirits it's the same um, what no actually it actually has a um, um, a bit of plastic there to look like a mesh it's not real mesh it's a really narrow space um, quite hard to actually get real mesh there but it does have a mesh pattern to it so it does look a lot better than the Norf. Um, one of the differences I noticed here is um, if you take a look at the Norf here if I actually turn on my flash real quick you can actually see um, there's a big opening there and then a mesh grill which is actually opening for the I think for a few of the fans back there um, but yeah you can see it's quite a big opening moving back to the GT Spirit the opening is actually a lot smaller you can actually see the um, the outline of the bigger opening right here it's fully opened up on the Norev but on the GT Spirit it's actually closed um, halfway basically and the grill is a lot smaller and I think it's closed plastic in there as well so I'm not sure if that's an option on the real car to have it fully open like the Norev or halfway closed like the GT Spirit uh, I'm not sure about that um, but yeah either way they both look pretty good there um, moving on let's take a look at the fender arches here so take a look at the Nora first you can see that they I think these are actually black painted slats if I'm not mistaken um, yeah I think I'm, I'm pretty sure that these are actually painted but it doesn't really look all that nice I think it catches a lot of dust as well in there um, let's take a look at the GT Spirit on the GT Spirit I think it is painted as well so yeah not really a lot of differences over there moving on down the side so the whole spade is of uh, again textured uh, plastic to look like carbon the um, yeah I don't know exactly what you call this but the um, the blade here is just gloss black it's actually not finished in carbon here on the Nora We've got the V8 by turbo badge and I think yeah that's all just that's just paint it black actually um, let's go through a little bit there on the bottom there taking a look at the GT Spirit then you can actually see we've got some plastic to look like mesh which looks a lot better than Norf also on the lower part we have that however here it doesn't really go in very deep whereas on the Norf it actually goes I think all the way to the wheel arch so that's pretty cool um, let's move on let's take a look at the wipers then so on the Norf here Finishing plastic, of course. Nothing really very interesting there. Um, GT Spirit here, also in plastic. Um, does look a bit different. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one looks better. Maybe the Norf does. Um, uh, yeah, so let's move on here. On the GT Spirit, we do actually have exposed carbon mirrors. So I really do not understand why GT Spirit decided to have exposed carbon on the mirrors only. Um, you can see on the north we also have that but I think that's textured carbon as well um, shape of the mirror on both of them is pretty similar however they are um, a bit yeah it's pretty similar I mean the north actually looks a bit better the indicator as well moving on to the roof full exposed carbon on the north which is actually textured plastic each spirit just has gloss back gloss black right there so no carbon at all moving on let's take a look at the wheels so on the north we have really thick tires and that also makes the stance look quite a lot worse than the GT spirit um, I mean you can see here the GT spirit looks very nice and low we've got reasonably thin tires and on the north the tires are just so thick it's it's really weird it doesn't really look very good 
Um, I actually lowered the front here as well, so the when you buy this Norev model, the it will be sitting a lot higher than the um, than it is on my video here. Um, so yeah, just keep in mind I did lower it. Um, so you can actually also check out my Instagram. I did a comparison post between the my lowered version and the stock version. Um, but taking a look at the wheels here, they are finished in I think gloss black. Yeah. Um, got the Mercedes star in the middle, the brake discs look okay in my opinion. Um, we've got black calipers with the AMG logo, um, got no tire lettering. And if we look at it from the side a bit, if I just put it straight, you can see that the, um, the angle of the spokes does have a small corner in it halfway as you can see there so it goes straight down and then a little bit inward and if you take a look at GT Spirit it's much more edgy so you can see that the the corner there is a lot edgy it's it does look very different from the Norav um, and I actually looked up the some pictures of the real car and I think the Norav actually did it much better yeah the on the GTS period is just too too angled compared to the real car but the discs and the caliper does look a lot better on the GT Spirit also with the Mercedes star in the middle of the wheel the NG logo on the caliper and the discs just look a lot better and they're also a bit bigger than the Norf the Norf discs are a bit too small in my opinion especially on the rear you can see really small um, uh, discs we do have an NG logo on the caliper and on the GT Spirit, yeah, the discs are a bit bigger, which does look a lot better. Also, no tire lettering on here, um, but yeah, the tires are much thinner than the Norf. The Norf, the tires are just way too thick, um, and that also uh, affects the stance of the models. So you can actually see the GT Spirit is very nice and low. And the Norf is just it's just too high in my opinion, way too high. Um, also, um, the door handles here. So on the Jeep Spirit, it's just a yeah, it's just a handle. It's a single piece, not really much detail to it. However, on the Norf, we well, it's actually about the same. We do have the outline of the um, of the, the actual handle itself. Um, Whereas here is all just one flush piece. The gas cap here, the outline on the GT Spirit, looks okay in my opinion. North looks about the same, although the outline is not as um, crisp as it, as it could be on the uh, on the model, where GT Spirit did that a bit better. Um, let's take a look at the rear then. So one. Thing you may notice here the rear bumper is actually not textured plastic here i mean all the other carbon is all textured plastic on the on the norf model but the rear bumper i don't know why but they decided to put a um some sort of uh decal on here i mean the whole rear bumper has this weird looking decal um yeah i mean it doesn't even really look like carbon fiber in my opinion I um, mean, if you take a look at the roof, I mean, that look like, look, look, looks like carbon fiber. Um, if the camera want to focus on that, please. Maybe if I turn on off my flash. Yeah, it's a bit hard. doesn't really want to focus. Um, but yeah, this doesn't really look like carbon fiber, in my opinion. I mean, you can see here that, I mean, that looks like carbon fiber. It looks really good. But down here, the decal just looks weird I really don't like that um, I really I actually don't like when manufacturers decide to put different types of carbon fiber on the same model I mean that just makes it look a bit weird I mean you should either have the either have one or the other one I mean you can put two different types of carbon on the same model you should be a, be very consistent with that in my opinion um, GT Spirit, of course, all just gloss black, no carbon at all. Um, let's take a look at the diffuser then. So that's just gloss black. You can see the exhaust pipes are blocked off right there. Plastics around as well. 
um, and I got the I think that's a reversing light if I'm uh, correct about that I'm not sure um, yeah it's an F Formula 1 style uh, light there so here we just have a plastic piece with a bit of texture to it well on the GT Spirit exhaust pipes are also blocked off quite dusty as well because it's black um, but yeah it, I mean you can also see the reversing light that looks 10 times better looks quite cheap on the NORAF here it actually looks very nice um, also got some mesh on the side there where the NORAF just has closed plastic the reflectors are also very nice on GT Spirit um, here they also use separate pieces but I think there's a pack right in the middle of those um, and on the GT Spirit that's not the case looks very good we do have the separate piece AMG license plate holder and here's again just a sticker right on top of the on the model take a look at the rear lights then so on the NORAV these actually look pretty good um, I don't know yeah this GT, GT Spirit right here I'm not sure which one looks better and looks more like a real car um, I did search up some pictures of the car of the real car um, but yeah I'm not really sure if which one did it better NORAF or GT Spirit um, I think I may prefer the NORAF on the rear lights here um, but yeah I mean the GT Spirit doesn't look bad either it just looks a bit different I'm, and I'm not really um, sure which one looks more realistic let me know in the comments what you think about that um, take a look at the badges then, so on the GT Spirit here we've obviously got some photo, ad ba photo etched badges so we have the Mercedes badge in the middle the AMG badge on the side there um, you can actually see there's a lot of dust and a bit of um, I don't know probably from the um, um, from the um, when they manufacture the model a bit of dust and a bit of glue something like that around the logo on the other side GT Black Series badge of course on the NORAF actually looks a bit more crisp in my opinion the camera would like to focus also the center badge looks pretty good I mean the badges themselves don't really have that much differences but yeah GT Spirit is a bit more I don't know dirtier um, yeah, Jeet Spirit does not have any exposed carbon on the wing either, it's all gloss black. You can see this around for the um, movable part of the rear wing. Here is all textured carbon, textured plastic Luca carbon, looks really good. Also the wing supports look very similar on both of them. No real differences there. So let's take a look at the interiors of these two models so let's take a look at the NORAF interior first so yeah you can see the seats are really plasticky very shiny um, doesn't really look like a real seat to me but we do have carpeting all the way around also on the floors um, we do have the orange striping on the seat as well and the, the GT Spirit looks a lot better we, it doesn't really have that plasticky look. Also, the doors has this very nice orange design on it with the stripes. Looks really good. You can also see the seat belts there. Look very nice. Um, you don't have um, carpeting, unfortunately. Also, the dash looks very nice. Yeah, the, the North is just really plasticky. Um, doesn't have the stripes on the doors either, on the inside of the doors. Yeah, I mean, from a distance, then the GT Spirit does look a lot better. A lot less plasticky compared to the NORAF. Um, so, let's take a quick look from the side then. Let me actually open up the NORAF here so we can actually take a better look at it. So, yeah, you can see it's all t um, carpeted on the flooring, but yeah, everything else is, looks very plasticky. Um, we do have some paint painted parts for the buttons and all that. On the NORAF, oh sorry, on the GT Spirit, 
does it just looks a lot less plasticky um and yeah obviously of course got the paint parts for all the buttons gauge cluster looks very nice steering wheel yeah the north just looks way too plasticky um and you can also see that we actually have a beautiful roll cage with the amg on the down there as well heating elements in the window on the Nora, we actually don't have the roll cage so i don't know if it's um, an option on the real car to have the roll cage or if it is uh, standard on the car but yeah that that just looks a lot better on gt spirit a bit more effort from gt spirit there also the, the window does not have the heating uh, stripes for the defrost um, defrosting of the of the window there so yeah g spirit did do that part a lot better in the back here so you can look at the other side of the interior there yeah you can see the center console it does look very nice painted button buttons amg on the infotainment screen let me open up the norav I mean, it's still painted buttons everywhere, but yeah, the look is very plasticky. Um, the seats, the dash, the center console, it all looks really plasticky. So yeah, in my opinion, the GT Spirit interior does look a lot better. It's just that GT Spirit is a closed resin, so you can't open it up. Um, but still, in my opinion, GT Spirit does look a lot better there. Um, so yeah, that's basically about it, I think. Um, I think I covered everything as far as exterior and interior. Um, of course, the Norf can open up. Um, so let's just show you that. Um, but also in here, it looks very plasticky. You can see the big grill there. We do have some carbon fiber as well. Um, huge dog leg hinges. But um, yeah, in there, the detail is not phenomenal either. Can also open up the rear on the Norav here. Uh, maybe you can also see uh, we do not have the roll cage at all, but it is all carpeted, of course. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this comparison. Um, also, I missed one thing, um, I forgot to mention that the Norav is limited to 2000 pieces, um, at least that's what they put on the box. The GT Spirit is limited to 1400. So let me actually just um, turn over GT Spirit so you can actually see that. So I quickly turn the model around so we can actually see it the right way up. So you can see there um, 273 out of 1400 pieces. Um, yeah, also, the underside here is all plastic basically. I uh, do see a bit of the exhaust, a bit of GT Spirit branding, Mercedes branding there. Um, and on the Norav, it's very plasticky as well. Although, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They both really don't look that great. But um, yeah, it's all very plasticky. We've got the Norav badge on top here, Mercedes branding down there. You can also see a bit of the exhaust here, although not as much as on the GT Spirit um, but yeah the GT Spirit is um, manufactured in less units than Norev so yeah the GT Spirit is actually um, a bit cheaper than the Norev retail price about 20 euros um, so yeah I mean it really depends if you prefer opening diecast models or closed resin models or if you don't have a preference at all um, yeah that might influence uh, the one you want to uh, buy um, yeah, you can also see in this shot actually the north oh, sorry the GT Spirit is very nice and low the north is just too high in my opinion um, but uh, yeah it's up to you what you what you um, prefer um, for me, I don't really prefer um, anything. Um, I like opening diecast models. I like resin models. Um, I don't really have a direct uh, preference there. So 
I think for me I will keep the GT Spirit and sell the Norav because the GT Spirit, although it doesn't have carbon, the details are just a lot better. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this comparison. Let me know which model you are getting for your collection. And um, check out my Instagram. Uh, I will also upload a full comparison post of these two models. So you can also take a look at that. Um, you can see my full collection there as well. Both of these models. And all my other models. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Check out my Instagram link down below as I said. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.